Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 16th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where, of course, we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything affecting humanity. All the Earth changes we're going through. Looking at the last 24 hours still on our sun, observing a northern sunspot, and as well plasma filaments. No major space weather events affecting us, nor in view right now. Incoming and outgoing now, except for just large plasma filaments dancing around every corner of the sun right now. Closer look here at the sunspot region. And a multi-spectrum here. Take a look at the big picture. Darker regions being coronal holes. And large dark lines like that on the left-hand side. Plasma filaments. No Earth-facing or Earth-directed events from our sun right now. We are still experiencing the G1 storm over 500 kilometers per second. But geomagnetic activity for the next day remains low. Looking here at NOAA Space Prediction Center spiral. As you can see, no major events thwarted our way. Except for Coronal Hole, which was Earth-facing yesterday. Real-time solar wind. We are steady at about 568 kilometers per second a little bit of missing data here between 572 581 geospace magnetosphere this is what it looks like being smacked by over 500 kilometer per second solar winds and our schumann resonance for today definitely showing off the activity that we were experiencing with the G1. Amplitude power of 68. So highly energetic. Quality is okay. Looking here, the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And it has still been pretty busy. We're sitting at about 320 earthquakes the last 24 hours. No major Earthquakes to talk about. These are the largest right now. Kermadec Islands, 5.3. As well, the deepest earthquake today, 4.4 at a 580 kilometer depth. 5.0 to report here, Papua New Guinea. 5.8 here, Indonesia. That's the largest of the day to report. As well, a 4.6 again in Santa Monica, Philippines. 5.5 reported here in King High, China, 10 kilometer depth. Seems to be a daily occurrence there. Uh, this is a 5.5 from the Indian Ridge yesterday. As well, that notable 4.1 in Jordan, Egypt. Lots of activity through the Caribbean plate today as well. Charlotte and Mealy. The U.S. Virgin Islands seeing a 4.7 this morning. As well, El Salvador, 4.1 there from yesterday. Oklahoma seeing some interesting earthquakes today. Kearney, Oklahoma, 3.7. And as well, seeing a 2.6 just south of that. 2.5, Quinton. As well, Ackerley, Texas, a 3.1 reported. And then California. So minor earthquakes through Olancho, California. And that is right through the Coso volcanic field. And we're seeing some in interesting developments now across the upper northwest. We're going to start out here. I'm just going to show you exactly where that 3.4 was down in Olancha. And this is the Coso volcanic field, a part of it. It is a long line, a long stretch. So continuing activity through Long Valley and Coso volcanic field, as well, Mammoth Mountains. And always east of Mono Lake there. 
no major activity, Yellowstone. But it was the explosions here that definitely caught my eye again. So an explosion, 1.9 earthquake, and as well a 2.1 in Princeton, a 1.4 in Sunny Slope, Washington, and a 2.3 West Richland, Washington. So that is Bridge of the Gods. That's where there was an earthquake last week. So now there's an explosion in the same area. The same area. We are under immense amount of pressure. Even Rainier, seeing a couple earthquakes atop of the volcano. So heads up, Pacific Northwest. Things are exploding, apparently. We've reported five explosions today. And most times, if it's a quarry blast, it's li it's listed. You know this. Having a look over Alaska, largest to report here, 3.7 at a 34-kilometer depth. False pass. As well, largest to report here, Hawaii, 2.9. And quiet through Russia, Japan. Quiet through South America as well today. So heads up, my friends and family, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. I'm give you a quick browse around the planet. Pointing out, I think, a very quiet North America. And as well into Antarctica, South America, North American plate. Have a plan and be ready. Morning Dew is here for you. Don't forget to hit that like bell. Or sorry, the notification bell. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center. We had some pretty nasty storms going through Saskatchewan and they headed through Manitoba today. As well, we've got Tropical Storm Bill who looks like it will just miss Newfoundland. And then we've got... a. Intense and dangerous situation popping up across the West Coast here. You've got the Crooked Fires there in Wyoming. Crooked Creek and as well Helena. The Draw Fires. Utah County reporting a new fire as well. And the fires continue through Arizona. Got a new one here, Riverside County. Prescott, a new one, Arizona. And as well, the Pinal and Gila. Continual fire there. Drought conditions and warm conditions continue too. No relief in the forecast here, really. Also, we've got Tropical Cyclone Carlos, who is tracking westward. No real strength or organization with it. Stormy conditions still across the Indonesia and as well up into Queensland, coastal regions. Big low pressure system affecting you, but going to be leaving by the end of the week. Have a quick look here. Most recent volcanoes to update. Sabankaya, Ibu, and Luwatolo. Other than that, you did get the volcano activity report today as they're actively erupting 47 volcanoes. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Now look here at the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorEarth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here, home base all, all Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, watch these temperatures drop right down. We've got a sneaky cold high pressure, which I was pointing out yesterday in the video, and that's coming from Russia. So after these systems finally sweep across the nation, we're going to be looking at three almost freezing degrees almost zero degrees celsius in foothills of the alberta so interesting transition yet again middle of june and it could snow in the foothills and then intense situation here developing for ontario you do have some very extreme weather that is on your on its way a lot of humidity in the air and it's going to be a vigorous low as well, you've got tropical development here. It is an unnamed storm for now, but most likely will turn into a Category 1 tropical storm. And it looks like by 
Saturday into Sunday, it will be making landfall through New Orleans and heading northeastward towards Carolina states. But yeah, definitely a wet week across eastern Canada and the United States. Hot and dry conditions continue through southwest. Extreme heat conditions. And then watch as that Colorado low develops later in the week. We could see some interesting merging storms over North America. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, high pressure ridge seems to be still putting up a fight here. A low pressure center will be most likely tearing it apart by the end of the week. And already have this low pressure system hanging out over the Black Sea, heading westward. And then you do have another low pressure system heading into the United Kingdom, parts of Central Europe. Overlooking India, still have that low pressure system grinding up into the Himalayas. Flood watches for Bangladesh and as well parts of eastern India, Nepal. Long line of moisture coming out of China here, stretching through the Pacific. Could be a vigorous setup there for a typhoon in the long range. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia, daily evaporation rains, no major changes. Low pressure system here heading out by the end of the weekend for eastern Australia, but not before bringing rain all the way up the coast daily. And as well, western Australia. Watch for this intense system to develop coming from the equator and shooting into the center of the continent, most likely merging with a low pressure just south. So yes, stay tuned, my Australian friends. Things could change in this long range. Overlooking New Zealand, watching that system dramatically develop over New Zealand throughout the week. North Pacific here, no major weather systems heading towards Hawaii. And it looks like high pressure ridge is still throwing all of the low pressure systems northward, keeping things dry across west coast and then i'm going to be keeping an eye on this sneaky little low another tropical depression developing there could head into california basin overlooking south america no major weather events except for coastal regions panama this week could see some pretty heavy rain and as well coastal regions chile with this wave of moisture coming in and as well the border with Brazil and Argentina. Huge wave of moisture from that huge low pressure system in the Antarctic. Africa, you definitely do have some changes coming to you. Western parts of Africa, watch for coastal regions here. A lot of daily evaporation, rain, stormy conditions, and as well, most likely some tropical storm, tropical storm conditions coming out of the corner there in the long range. Much love and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the interesting low pressure systems that are vigorously spinning across our planet right now. Got some twin cyclones developing here, South Pacific, and no major developments in the North Pacific. Things have changed, my friends and family, dramatically. And I'm really happy that you're all here joining us for this epic journey. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.